And, and the Bible does talk about it. It is going to happen. That's why I believe it. It's not, you know, I believe it because it's in the Bible. Oh, yeah. We, we know it's coming, man. They've been talking about a financial collapse my whole life, literally. You know, I, at least in my early, in my 20s, books were written. People are on proclaiming the great crash and all that. And, and the Bible does talk about it. It is going to happen. That's why I believe it. It's not, you know, I believe it because it's in the Bible. You know, I never thought I would see this late. I thought this was all going to happen already. You know, it, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's a letdown, but perhaps it's showing me something about myself that I didn't know. And that is, I wasn't ready as, as I thought I was, maybe. Maybe I've learned that, you know, if I, if, if I went back then in the Hillary and Obama days, in the Mark of the Beast and the, you know, the Patriot Act and 2011, all these things that martial law was building and all this stuff was, it was, seemed so heavy before Trump was, before, before Donald Trump came in. You know, I really thought that was the end, you know. Donald Trump comes in, supposed to be this, I mean, with this whole Christian, stigma on him and this whole thing just that that whole thing fell apart and now we're still pressing forward like inch by inch just continuing on you know and um i just i don't i don't want to be caught off guard i don't want to be fooled <clears throat> and maybe we'll all grow old and die before any before christ comes back maybe this is not the last generation or maybe the last generation is not what we calculated or Maybe a generation is longer than we're thinking. And so you start doubting, you start wondering, and you start thinking if you got it right. And, and this is a big test for a lot of people because um, you know, a lot of people lose their faith and fall back into the world. And I, I catch, catch myself, I caught myself being lukewarm even when Donald Trump was president because we had the big scare with Obama and Hillary and all that heavy stuff. I don't know if you guys remember. <clears throat> it's been a while, hasn't it? Five, six years now, right before Donald Trump was elected, I mean, we had some crazy stuff taking place with, with the presidency and Obama and, and politics and all that stuff. The war was brewing with Russia. It's always brewing with Russia, isn't it? China was stepping up. China's always stepping up. It's like, man. So there's a lot of questions, you know, it's like, what is God doing? Do we really understand this right? Do we really think, you know, we think we're right about our interpretation. We think we understand what's going on. And then we don't have it fully understood and, you know, s tests and trials come along that try to beat us down, to knock us, knock us over and to break us up and, uh, and to destroy us. <clears throat> so I think it's a combination of things, guys, like, you know, many of us are not really, really ready like we think we are to stand before God. That's my first, my first judgment against myself is, you know, maybe it's the grace of God having not taken us so quickly yet. And many people think they're ready who are not ready.